here's a little YouTube secret for y'all. The video I posted a couple days ago in your guys' world, well, I did actually post it a couple days ago by the time you're seeing this video, but I recorded it literally four minutes ago. So I gotta, like, lie to you guys. We got last week's video, a couple days ago video. No, that was literally, I literally got up, changed my shirt, that's it. It's within literally the same hour as... Let's get into this. This shit's good. This was pretty, I'm not gonna, I say that every time. Um, it's gonna be filled with, as usual, picture, video, Facebook cancer video, and then a uh, picture. The video just blows my goddamn stupid, ignorant fucking mind. Let's just go into a quick little message, really quickly. This is how I treat women. It's not me. Okay, you fat bitch. Wow, that was uncalled for. Doubt it. I doubt that. I'm sure he had reasoning. We don't have enough context. Let's not assume. And yeah, just so you know, I did only want sex with you. Okay, now we can assume he's in the right. You are too fat. <laughs> you are too fat for me to date, but I wouldn't mind having sex with you. I vibe with this on a personal level. That's a real thing, ladies. Lose some weight. I wish YouTube Analytics told me the weight of each person who follows me, because that... I don't give a shit. Well, I wanted to fuck you, but not gonna happen now. Bye. You're not gonna be blessed by this uncut dick. Mm-mm. Sorry, sister. Maybe you shouldn't have been such a cunt. If you do want friends with benefits, let me know. If you change- if me being a complete asshole to you, and calling you fat, worthless piece of shit, now it makes you want to have sex with me, hit me up, you fat bitch. Okay, so the video, I don't even have to, I don't need words. Let's ride into this fuckery. That's a hobby horse right there. Remember that stick with the horse on it? Oh yeah, I think I had one of those. Yeah, they gathered for the annual hobby horse championships. Hobby horse tournament. Fuck, are you kidding me? What is this? There's, there's only two options for this. There's nothing, nothing else. All girls here are losers. All of them. Not like girls who ride horses are cool to begin with, but these ones are a special kind of fucking loser. So that is an even spread between both groups. One is poor, underprivileged children whose parents could not afford a horse. I get it. I can't afford a horse, but I also don't fucking want one. Fuck horses. Those things are ugly. They're big dogs. You can't pet it. They don't even lay down when they sleep. What the fuck? Next, these people are all special needs. And you would think, wow, you shouldn't talk shit about that. I don't give a fuck. This is fucked up. This, this is retarded. If you don't believe me, stay tuned. This is on the news. If you watch the news after this, after seeing this, kill yourself. If you watch my YouTube videos after this, kill yourself. 1,000 spectators watched about 200 people. The writers, by the way, almost all girls between... Was that a purebred? And they're taking this seriously. If you look at their faces, they're, they're not smiling. Man, they're this is intense. They're not smiling. That was intense. Those girls are looking like, oh, fuck. That was good form. How'd she have control of that pony? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. Look at the pranks. Look at the pranks. Oh, this is great. This is great. Well, they actually do this. <laughs> this is great. You know that the people watching this at the news channel are just like... Because they're just under contract that they can't say, What the fuck is this, Bill? What the fuck is this shit? This? This is retarded. I quit. Imagine me on the news right now, just sitting there, you know, the pan out to everybody sitting there, and then I'd just be like... You know how, like, when there's a black news anchor surrounded just by white people doing white people things, and he's just like... The way she pranced just had me dead. Look at the pranks. <laughs> how do you train for this? Do they, are they like, yeah. You see how that horse is doing it with four legs? Uh, do it with your two, but while holding a decapitated horse head. Concentration is immense. And she's like looking like she's gonna fall as if that's a, a hard thing to do. I would videotape me doing it, but I don't want to become a fucking meme yet. Suicide isn't an option. It is a, a very good one actually but just not right now. Once I post me doing a little gallop on YouTube, that's when you know, next day, I'm not gonna be alive. I'll write a note on how to upload it. Thanks, Mom. Shout out to you. Similarly traditional equestrian events like dressage and show jumping, the vast majority of the hobby horse- Those girls were going hard as fuck. She was sprinting. That's not how a horse runs. You're a shitty hobby horser, okay? You whore. Could you imagine 
having a child inside of you for nine months, it grows up to be the age of 13, and it does this? And you chose not to abort it? It does this. Are you proud? I'd rather my kid have hentai hour every hour till he's 25 years old than have my child ever be a hobby horser. My kid's gonna be a hobby horser. It's either gonna be a stillbirth or that. I guarantee it. If karma exists, that's how it's gonna play out. But if my child is neither, I'm gonna make him into a hobby horser. I'm going to show him this video. I'm gonna pretend and be like, I was a hobby horser at your age. And he's gonna be the only male doing it, okay? But they're gonna be like, should a male compete? I don't know. They do have physical dominance over these women. But let's just let him do it. Because my kid's gonna be gay anyway. I'm just gonna fuck his whole life up. Make him think that hobby horsing is amazing. It's an Olympic sport. And I'm gonna train him since fucking birth to be a hobby horser. And then abandon him. When he has nobody left. Because nobody loves somebody who does that. There's no such thing as unconditional love. You're, that's fake. No, no mom is like, I do love my kid. Really good at hobby horsing. The way she grips that fucking head. Oh. Before I, um, say anything else about children who have special needs and playing with toys, let's just move in to people of a legal age that uh, you could have sex with which means I can make fun of them more. Text messages, my favorite way to not get pussy. Sorry, yeah, I was hit by a car yesterday. So yeah, just all right. That's not good. What happened? I got hit by a car. That's what happened, I told you already. She's like, no, that's not good, as if he didn't know. You could tell she doesn't give a fuck. That's not good. I wasn't paying attention to her, I was walking, nothing serious. That's inherently your fault. Jesus, dude, at least you're okay. So I uh, thought of something when I got hit. I, oh, I want to be a woman so bad. This doesn't happen to men, okay? Women will only ever get that text message. Thought of something when I got hit. She knows, she's like, this dude wants to fuck me now. What's that? How do you see me, Marissa? What do you mean? Do you think I'm kind? For now, she probably does. Yeah, you've always been nice. Why? I, uh, I hate when people type, uh, I, uh, like, because, why? I know you're trying to have your inner voice come out in text, but don't be a prick. I uh, want to let you know that I have always had feelings for you, and that I regret never trying harder to be with you. Of course, I mean these feelings came out after being hit by a car, so I understand if this is weird for you, but I'd rather live knowing that I finally manned up, didn't tell you in person, in texts, totally feel you, bro and told you how I feel, then regret never telling you that's all sorry. Probably gonna hide now. Probably gonna go get hit by a car now. Peace out, that was actually my first suicide attempt. Please don't make this one succeed. Wowza. He's gonna go kill himself, That I would. If a girl, if I poured my heart out to a girl, she's like, wow. I would just respond with, yeah, I'm just kidding, you fat bitch. I did wanna have sex with you. <laughs> I'm full of, I'm full of surprises. I don't expect you have shared feelings. As I said though, I like manning up. You didn't expect her to reciprocate the feelings? Then why would you say them? If you expected nothing and you put out, I get you're not supposed to expect things. I don't expect anything from anybody. But why even say it? You are a meme. This is gonna get 12 views on fucking YouTube. The world's gonna hate you. I get it though, been friends for, for too long. Grew up with each other, lol, old storyline, but a good one, I guess. You're making excuses for her, let her make her own excuse, those are always the best. I would have expected this back in middle school, you fucking loser, but not after six years, I've only seen you twice since then. That's every guy. I used to like this guy in middle school. Th this guy. I'm gay, wow. Oops. It's like, everybody's ugly in middle school, and then some girls get hot, okay, six years middle school, so could be out of high school. So there is the possibility, so it's 8th grade, the possibility of her being like my age right now. Girls are either going to get really hot, right, compared to what they were in middle school, or fucking fall apart. This is really the trying times. This is what, it's going to show you what they're made of, okay? Because they're not going to get any better after this point. This is the best time of their life. And if they already look like shit, fuck off. This is going way too deep. But I'm being real with you guys. So if any of you guys are in high school watching this, all 12 of you, keep that in mind. That hot girl right now, you fat bitch. Literally four years from their, your point. Freshman year, hot, right out of high school. Fat, 
I'm serious. Let's, okay, let's get back to this. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's another good story plot for, for uh, YouTube. You know how it is reconnecting with an old crush after a while, getting flooded with all these old emotions? Classic! Favorite rape story. Not really, to be honest. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't, I'm on her side with that one. What the fuck are you talking about? But my analogy, or how, with how I feel, because, you know what? Oh, you know, that's a little vague. I don't know what it's like reconnecting with old crushes and getting flooded with emotions. I guess it doesn't happen to me. I don't know. Same here. That's because, lovely Marissa, you're always the subject, never the storyteller. You're a whore, Marissa. Really, really cared about you in middle school. Like it was everybody would, would say that we were more brother and sister. But I wanted more. And after seeing you after six years, and as soon as I saw you, the first time, TGI Fridays. The way you ordered that macaroni and cheese with bacon bits really made me throbbing, made me pulsing. My heart rate was so elevated, it was just above resting. Mm. The same thought that ran through my head six years ago. Popped up again? Want to know what it was. So you just went back on what you said. You said this thought came to you after you got hit by a car. But it came back at TJ Fridays? Bro, you're lying. You're lying before this relationship even started. All men do lie. Wait, I get it. She's probably like, fuck this guy. I mean, she, I know she's like, fuck this guy. 22 years old, could you imagine being like, man, I'm feeling the same way I felt about you in middle school. Fuck, I want to hold that hand. That's all I got. This video's long as fuck. Um. Subs uh, sub. Sub. Uh, subway.